Hello everyone. So today the trailer for Frozen 2 was released. And because of that, it's probably a big thing in the animation world. Frozen, of course, became this huge thing. I haven't seen just a movie like that, uh, an animated movie like that become that big in a really, really long time, and it was quite amazing. And, uh, ever since, it's pretty much just got a, a lot of people who either just love it or a lot of people who just hate it. And I guess, in the end, I would be in the love it part. I probably don't like it as much people, but I don't hate it, so if I had to choose one of those two, it would be love it. I do have to agree that ha having to hear Let It Go all the time better wear was annoying and it's probably going to be around again pretty soon, but still, I did end up liking the movie. And for today, we got the trailer for it, or at least the first trailer. So I thought I would just go and discuss a little and then what I'm kind of hoping what the story is going to be since we don't really have the full story yet, just, just a trailer right now. So the trailer starts off with uh, Elsa at a beach and she's looking at the ocean and there are all these tidal waves coming so she goes and runs towards it and then uh, goes and walks on it kind of like how she does in the first movie but this time she just, she's doing it barefoot. And then uh, there's this one part where the waves are getting bigger and bigger and then she goes and falls in. So I'm kind of wondering why she's doing that. Maybe she's still doesn't have full control of her powers and she's trying to do this to go and master them. That's what I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. So after that we get this uh, a tiny little scene where Anna's on a balcony and these the, the, there's all these little diamond-like things in the sky. I have no idea what they are, but she looks surprised, so I'm guessing they're not supposed to be there. Then we get a part where uh, Kristoff is uh, on Seven and all these reindeer are running across. I'm not sure what they're running to, maybe uh... It still looks like they're in Arendelle, I think, in that part, so I, I'm guessing that's probably most likely near the beginning of the movie. It seems we're getting two new characters in this, uh, some, uh, some girl, I think, and then I think, I think it was a guy, I, I couldn't tell. The, the only part they were shown is where they're getting left up in the air and they're going like, whew, and you can't really get a good look at them, so I think it was a guy, I, I'm not sure. After that, we get a, a, a little scene where, uh, the group goes in and gets to this big cliff and they see this big horizon and... I'm guessing that's the main setting in the movie, and it's when they first get there, so... And I, I'm not really sure where it's supposed to be, but it's definitely not Arendelle. And then the, the trailer ends with uh, the group walking along, and then Anna sees something, grabs a sword, and goes like this, and the, the logo appears. And I was wondering uh, what she saw to go and do that if it's in the movie. And I do think I have a little theory, which I'll get to in a few minutes. So, one of the things I'm really hoping for the movie is that I'm hoping it's going to be about Elsa's powers and the origin of them. And maybe this is about, she finds out, uh, she possibly finds out maybe where she got them and then she decides she's going to go there and learn more. That's what I'm guessing it's going to be, but I'm still not really 100% sure on that. But, th that's why I am leaning on right now. I'm not sure who th th those other two characters are, uh, and how they even get involved. But, uh, I, I kind of wonder what they're th going to be there for and what they're going to do. I doubt they're going to be the villains or anything like that. If there was going to be a villain, I think it would probably be maybe the person who gave Elsa her powers. That, that's something I'd like to see. And, Maybe something similar to what the first movie was going to have with an evil ice queen. That, that, that's what I'm seeing. But we still don't know who those two characters really are. As for who Elsa is, or Elsa Anna is slashing at, my best guess right now, I, I think it's Hans. And I know a lot of people don't want this, but honestly, I want him to be redeemed. And 
Yes, I do kind of ship Helsa. I think it's a good ship, but still there is a bias there. But that's what I am guessing right now, and a lot of people who want Hans to be redeemed or get with Elsa are kind of worried that he wasn't in the trailer, but I don't think if, if he was going to be in the movie, they would put him in. And if they did put him in, they would go and kind of betray him as a villain. Kind of like how they, in the trailer for the first movie, they betrayed him as a good guy. Well, this time they would do it the opposite way, to go and fool the audience again. But if, if they're trying to keep him a surprise, then they're not going to have him in the trailers. But that's what I'm seeing, that he's she's, she's going and slashing at Hans, and maybe he went and snuck aboard the ship they were on, and he's coming along and saying he can help them, and Anna wants nothing to do with it. But that's what I'm seeing. And I would like him to get redeemed in the movie. That, that would be something a little bit more different. We usually don't see Disney villains get redeemed, so I would like to see that. Would he wind up with Elsa? I don't think so. It would... It would just be too soon for that. It would, that's something that, something that to build up to. Maybe they could have a hint at the end, but other than that, I don't think they're going to have Helsa in it. Just Hans with Redemption, at least I hope. So, that's just a little video I wanted to go and make on the trailer show. Just what I saw, what I hope, and it's coming out in November. I'm sure it's going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. After this, I kind of hope we get more original movies from both Disney and Pixar. I'm just so tired of all these freaking sequels. And yes, they are better than the sequels that came out about 10, 20 years ago, but still. So that's what I thought for the trailer and what, what I think is going to happen.